I've been a Cleveland Indians fan my entire life. I can remember going to the games at the old Cleveland Municipal Stadium when the Indians were barely relevant. I mean, you could buy a bleacher seat and sit wherever you wanted. If security was feeling generous, sometimes they would even let you sit behind a dugout or home plate. There was nobody at the game. But what I looked forward to the most as a kid was walking up to Gate D to see the giant chief wahoo that stood atop the stadium. I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Definitely the coolest logo. I still do. The very first thing I ever made of wood was a four-foot replica of that sign. I even mounted it on our garage roof the way it was mounted on the stadium. I still have it to this day. It's weathered and faded now, but so am I. Fast forward 30 years later and the first thing I ever welded, a seven foot version of the same logo, which made the trip back to Ohio with me. The Indians are responsible for so many fond memories, games with my dad, spring training with my friends. And although we haven't won a World Series in my lifetime, there's always the maybe next year mentality. But unfortunately, after this season, it can never happen as the Cleveland Indians. I mean, I get why they went away from Chief Wahoo. You know, I don't like it, but I get it. I understand why the Washington Redskins could be taken as offensive this day and age. But I don't get how Indians is not okay, but Atlanta Braves or Florida Seminoles are acceptable. I mean, we still have a team. They just won't be called the Indians anymore. And that's sad. I've always wanted to make a cigar store Indian. A cigar store Cleveland. I've always had it in my head it would be Chief Wahoo holding the baseball in bat. But the original idea was for him to be more cartoonish, like the logo. But since the recent news that we were losing not only Chief Wahoo, but the name Indians, which we've been called since 1915, I thought to myself, what would an actual 106-year-old Indian chief look like, you know, towards the end of his reign? I remember a powerful photo I had seen of Babe Ruth that was taken at his last appearance at Yankee Stadium. He was standing there in his uniform, but very frail, and he was using a baseball bat, kind of like a cane, to support himself. I remember thinking to myself, wow. So I wanted to use that photo as part of this inspiration for this piece. So this is my interpretation of the last stand of a Cleveland icon. Hail to the Chief. Thank you.